Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. I can't believe I haven't talked about this amazing record before. This is Raw Unpolluted Soul by Willie Williams with a true all-star cast. Lots of times when you have like these all-star records, it doesn't really add up to that much. I mean, yeah, they were there and they played, but it didn't glue into anything. But this really glues into something amazing. And the yin-yang team of Hubert Sumlin and Eddie Taylor is just to die for. I always love it when, when they play together because like Eddie Taylor is kind of the straight man and Hubert's really going nuts on this record. I think this is one of his best recordings. And then it's got little Max Simmons playing some great harp and Carrie Bell. And then Willie Williams is the singing drummer, Ernest Johnson on bass, who went on to join Muddy Waters. I know most of the people who watch this channel are uh, serious blues heads, and probably a lot of you have heard Lurie Bell play Winehead Woman because I've seen him play, play it a million times. So um, this song lives on, you know. And it was even kind of a radio hit in Chicago. So it was just like, whenever you think the blues is down for the count, you know, it's, it pops up in some funny way. And this, this was an example of that. And this record is well worth uh, listening to. You can hear it on YouTube or you can, you, it never did come out on CD, but um, you can find it. Let's talk about Wine Hit One. So it's a shuffle, lump, and A. And Eddie Taylor's got the thumb pick. I don't have a finger pick with me, so I'm just using my thumb pick. So the trick is to get a real good percussive mute. Whoops, let's try let's try it again. And then you'll hear this. Yeah. It's, that's your fourth fret on the A string. Or what you're more likely to hear together sound great. second fret on the D string and the open G string and then it sounds like a John Lee Hooker song doesn't it like if it was an E it'd be like like that 
So anyway, that's kind of the rhythm part. And, you know, really sounding good and natural like that is, is an art. So good luck with that. And um, Eddie Taylor was truly the master of that. And then the lead guitar is just crazy as heck. Um, it's just wild. There's just, Hubert has this wild energy on the record the whole way through. And it's just running free. Any guitar freak is going to love this record. So he kind of deconstructs things. And he has a way of playing like just enough of something to kind of say, you know the rest of the story. Because it was, you know, these were black blues masters playing for a black audience. And they didn't have to break it down. It's like everyone sort of knew the rest of the story. Everyone has the genre expectations, right? And I think that's why he played the way he did. Like, a turnaround might be like this. You know, because everybody knows it basically, you know. Everyone knows that's kind of what happens, but he sort of has this shorthand way of playing it. You know, that's kind of saying, you know the rest of the story. To me, that's what I think when I hear it, you know. It's just really interesting. He has this kind of minimal way of doing it, but he has this wild energy. So instead of this, because this is basically Jimmy Reed, it even has half the Jimmy Reed sound, which is Eddie Taylor on it. And he kind of throws that out the window, because like, all oh, y'all know that already kind of thing. And he just goes... You can see how that was the middle of this. But that just didn't have enough pizzazz for him, you know? He was fired up, man. So he goes. I'm doing a really hard upstroke with my finger. And then you might hear it. It sounds better on the B string. That was his turnaround. <laughs> was that crazy or what? So his solo is like this. And he's playing these fragments again. I love that. He goes, and then for E, he even went, so that's basically how he plays it, and I just love the way it's like a, I don't know, it's like a deconstruction, but everybody got it. Everybody knew exactly where they were coming from, where the story was going, and all that. So it takes a master to put, sort of break it down into the essential parts. It's almost like an abstract painting or something, you know? So, I feel the same way about Jimmy Dawkins. So, have fun. And this whole record is amazing. Like, uh, Down in Death Valley, I really like that one a lot. Um, that shows Eddie Taylor playing in B, which is uh, pretty rare. Um, that's well worth a listen. But this whole record is a, is a time capsule to another place in time. And, um, you know, I don't think we're ever going to hear blues like that anymore. Wish I could have seen that band in action. And I um, hope you enjoy the way this sounds. And um, try playing, you know, try the thumb pick. It sounds way tougher with your thumb pick than, than with the pick, you know. And with the drums, the drums are so bland.
I tried to put the different parts together, but I guess it really does take two people. So have fun with this and uh, drop me a line. If any of you guys ever saw Willie Williams in action or you were someone at any table or play together, um, definitely leave a comment. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly looks at the blues greats and have a great one. Thank you.